Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're jumping into a CompTIA Network Plus practice test to help you sharpen your networking fundamentals and get exam ready. We'll be using Skill Test Pro, one of my go-to sites for solid up-to-date certification questions. So let's get right into it. First question coming up. A company needs to allow employees to securely access internal resources from outside the office using a web browser. What should they implement? Telnet, FTP server, SSL VPN, load balancing, or static NAT? The correct answer is SSL VPN. An SSL VPN allows secure remote access through a web browser. Two. A technician needs to determine the path that the network packets take to a destination. What command should they, should they use? Traceroute, NSLOOKUP, PING, NETSTAT, or IFCONFIG? What do you think? The correct answer is Traceroute. Traceroute maps the path packets take to a remote destination. Three, a user is unable to access internal company resources when connected to a VPN. The user can access the internet. What should the technician check first? Wi-Fi encryption settings, Bluetooth settings, printer driver version, CPU utilization, or split tunneling configuration. I'll give you a moment. The correct answer is split tunneling configuration. If split tunneling is enabled, only some of the traffic goes through the VPN. Four, a technician is installing a new wireless network in a warehouse with large metal shelves. What issue might they encounter? Signal interference from metal objects, network loop, IP address conflict, low QoS priority or incorrect NAT configuration. The correct answer is signal interference from metal objects. Metal objects can reflect or block Wi-Fi signals causing interference. 5. A user reports that they cannot access a secure website. Other websites load fine. What should the technician check first? IP address of the printer, network cable type, expired SSL certificate, DHCP lease time, or duplex settings? The correct answer is expired SSL cer certificate. A company with an expired SSL certificate may prevent secure connections. Six, a technician is troubleshooting an IP address conflict between two devices. What is the best way to resolve this issue? Disable the firewall, use a crossover cable, Restart the router, assign one device a static IP address outside the DHCP range, or install new network drivers. The correct answer here is assign one device a static IP address outside the DHCP range. This prevents conflicts. Seven. A company wants to segment its network without adding additional physical hardware. What should they implement? NAT, VLANs, PAT, proxy server, or MAC filtering? The correct answer is VLANs. VLANs allow network segmentation without requiring additional hardware. Eight. A technician is troubleshooting a connectivity issue on a network switch. They suspect a faulty port. What tool can be used to test the network cable? A cable tester, protocol analyzer, tone generator, punch down tool, or Wi Fi analyzer? This one, cable tester. This a cable tester verifies continuity and proper wiring of network cables. Nine, a user is experiencing slow speeds on a gigabyte ether network. The network adapter is set to auto negotiate. What setting should the technician check next? Duplex settings, 
firewall rules, DNS server, MAC filtering, or VLAN assignments? And the correct answer is duplex settings. Mismatched duplex settings can cause slow network performance. A technician is configuring a VPN connection that encrypts all data traffic between remote users and the corporate network. What protocol should they use? PPTP, IPsec, HTTP, Telnet, or FTP? I'll give you a moment here. And the correct answer is IPsec. IPsec provides encrypted and secure VPN communication. 11. Halfway there. A company needs to ensure VOIP traffic has priority over regular web browsing. What network feature should be configured? NAT, port mirroring, quality of service, load balancing, or static routing? The correct answer is quality of service. QoS, prior, QoS prioritizes network traffic, ensuring VoIP calls receive higher priority. 12. A technician needs to verify which network ports are open on a remote server. What command should they use? Ping, trace route, if config, netstat, or nmap. Correct answer is Nmap. Nmap is the network scanning tool used to identify open ports and services. 13. A technician is configuring a router with a new subnet to separate voice and data traffic. What subnet mask should be used for a network that supports 62 usable hosts? Point one nine two, point one two eight, point two two four, point two four zero, or point zero. All starting with twenty five point two hundred fifty five point two hundred fifty five point two hundred fifty five. The correct answer is point one nine two. A A slash twenty six subnet mask provides 62 usable host addresses. A server reports that their workstation cannot obtain an IP address from the DHCP server. Other users on the same network are unaffected. What should the technician check first? Firewall settings, DHCP scope settings, network cable connection, proxy server sections, or VLAN configuration. The correct answer is network cable connection. A looser disconnected cable can prevent a workstation from communicating with the DHCP server. 15. A technician needs to be needs to identify a cable that runs through the ceiling and terminates in the server room. Which tool should they use? Tone generator and probe, loopback plug, multimeter, Spectrum Analyzer or Punch Down Tool. The correct answer is Tone Generator and Probe. A tone generator and probe help trace cables through walls and ceilings. 16. A company is implementing a secure network that requires authentication before allowing devices to connect via Wi Fi. What security protocol should be used? WEP, WPA2 Enterprise, Open Authentication, Radius Free Authentication, or MD5 Hashing? The correct answer is WPA2 Enterprise. WPA2 Enterprise uses 802.1x authentication, providing enhanced security for enterprise networks. 17. A technician suspects a failing network switch is causing connectivity issues. 
What tool can be used to check for excessive packet loss and latency? Traceroute, NSLOOKUP, PING, IPConfig, or ARP? What do you think? The correct answer is PING. The PING command measures packet loss and latency, helping to diagnose network issues. 18. A network administrator needs to allow remote access to an internal web server using port 443. What type of configuration should they use on the firewall? Static routing, VLAN tagging, MAC filtering, port forwarding, or QoS settings? I'll give you a moment here. And the correct answer is port forwarding. Port forwarding allows external traffic to reach an internal device on a specified port. 19. A user reports intermittent connectivity issues on a Wi-Fi network. Other devices are not affected. What should the technician check first? Server rack temperature, power supply unit, signal strength and interference, firewall logs, or network switch model. The correct answer is signal strength and interference. Weak signals or interference from other devices can cause intermittent Wi-Fi issues. Last question. A technician is troubleshooting a network issue where users are unable to access the internet, but they can access internal resources. The technician pings an external IP address and received request timeout. What is the most likely cause? Failed hard drive? Incorrect default gateway configuration? Wireless interference? Duplicate MAC addresses? Or a damaged network cable? And the correct answer is incorrect default gateway configuration. If users can access internal resources but not external sites, the default gateway may be misconfigured. All right, that's it for this round of Network Plus practice questions. Nice job making it through. If you're prepping for the exam and want more videos like this, feel free to browse the channel. There are plenty more to help you out. I've dropped the link to Skill Test Pro Practice Test in the description and in the pinned comment so you can try it for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay curious and keep learning. One more. All right, that's it for this round of Network Plus Practice Questions. Nice work making it through. If you're prepping for the exam and want more videos like this, feel free to browse the channel. There's plenty more to help you out. I've dropped the link to Skill Test Pro Practice Test in the description and pinned comments so you can try it for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay curious and keep learning.